Final Destination. It isn't just a movie. This is a series about how people manage to escape death only to find it again. Pictured here was 21-year-old Jessica de Lima Roll and her boyfriend, 20-year-old Adriano Stefano. This was the Kiss nightclub, which is located in Santa Maria, Rio Grande do Sol, Brazil. On January 27, 2013, there was somewhere around 900 people inside this nightclub. There was a party going on there which they called Aglomerado, and it was organized by people from several different universities in the area. One of the people who helped organize this party was Jessica de Lima Roll. Her boyfriend, Adriano, well, he begged her to stay home that night. He didn't want her to go, so she didn't. And at about 2 a.m. that morning, the band who was playing on stage lit off a pyrotechnic, kind of like a flare, started a fire, very similar to a story I covered uh, that happened in the Philippines. Through smoke inhalation, the fire itself, and through stampeding, 245 people lost their lives that night. 630 others were injured to some capacity. This would lead to two of the nightclub owners and two members of the band being formally charged with manslaughter. From what I've been able to find out, it does not look like any of them were actually convicted. But at the very last minute, Jessica didn't go. So her life was very likely spared. She and her father would call the, her boyfriend a guardian angel, a saint. But 10 days after the fire, tragedy would still befall Jessica. Jessica was driving her boyfriend in a VW Golf when in a freak accident, they collided head on with a truck. Jessica died instantaneously and her boyfriend Adriano, well, his 21st birthday would have been the following day, but he too would also die later on that evening, never getting to his 21st birthday. So in this bizarre twist of fate, Jessica survives by not going to the nightclub because her boyfriend urged her not to, and thank goodness he did. But then, by some cruel cosmic joke, because he warned her, he would then later be in a vehicle with her, which got into a horrible accident, which then inadvertently led to his death. The accident was not her fault, not whatsoever. It was literally a freak accident. The point being, though, that since he technically saved her, that would lead to his own demise. The world is a truly crazy and sometimes maniacal place to live in.